Chris Gonzalez prep cow track at the central section. Division one finals on our left, Benny Madrigal on the right, Sky Fierro, co-coaches for Madeira South. The race of the day here we knew was to be boys division one. Five excellent teams, only the top three teams move on to state. Those top three teams, your champions, Madeira South, second, Clovis West, and third was Clovis North. Staying home, Clovis and Buchanan. Uh, first off, the fact that the other four teams are on the track and you guys are not, did that in any way, was that an advantage as far as coming in a bit fresher maybe? Or what was your message to the kids leading up to today, down the stretch? Well, I like to do every race. Uh, we always say give it your all and just leave it all on the course. It's, it's never, we always want to win. We wanted to win, of course, but it's, they got to do their job and that's to give it all they got. Uh, Fierro had them set up to the, who they had to beat today to get that going. And they had a really nice plan uh, going into it, asking who they need to stay in front of. Uh, just placement-wise, and, and the boys listened. They did just that. Uh, just, he, he put in a lot of time into where they needed to be and where they could be, and they did. Uh, they, they went above and beyond, left it all on the course, and, and really uh, both of us wanted to get the Valley Championship back in Madeira. A uh, long tradition for us, and although we didn't compete with them last week, uh, we had a really good feeling about today. We knew it was going to be close, very tough year to do it, and that makes it a little better for both of us, winning on a tough year. Coming into today, I mean, given the fact that it was going to be so close and so many teams in this division, did you sense extra pressure? I mean, did the kids feel or seem extra tense, or were they pretty much feeling pretty good coming in? What do you guys think? So they had the goal since June of what they wanted. So it wasn't that they were extra pressure. They've always held that goal in their head. They were just focused all week. I think that's a better word than yeah, they, pressure. It almost seemed like we we were coming to another race today. The boys were ready, they were going after it, and uh, they didn't seem too stressed out. Like they said on the line, they looked confident, and just over the last two weeks, when they saw the times from last week, we just kept hearing, we can beat this, we can win this, but we're gonna have to earn it. And that's what we preach, it's nothing's gonna be given, they gotta show up ready, and uh, they did that today, and we're very proud of them. The sky, you try to break it down for the kids. As far as coaches, what would you guys say was going to be the biggest challenge? You're not necessarily a team, but what was, what was going to be the key to success today to beat these four teams? What was going to be the key, you think? Our key was actually going to be our number three slash four. He was having a knee issue for the past week, and so we didn't really know what he could live up to. I figured if he could come in within 20 seconds of where I thought he would be, then we'd be sitting pretty and our number five actually came in and ran about a 15 second PR and so that really helped out in itself but not going out too fast that first mile knowing that Clovis had the one-two punch coming in we knew that Buchanan had Brenton and Clovis North had Andrew so we knew guys were going to go out and take it out as long as we could hold and be smart that first mile we would have plenty of juice that third mile to, to finish strong. So, and nobody cares who wins the mile marker, but the third 3.1 is. We saw some good signs from Madeira South earlier in the year. That being said, we saw some good signs from a lot of teams in that race. And it all comes down to the end of the season. Madeira South, the Stallions are back. Valley champions, on to the state meet. Congratulations, guys. Thank you.